may we offer you such and such and letting that person tell you well i don't bleed so i don't need that but i could use the baby wipes or maybe they ignore you all together or maybe they're like you know i don't use tampons but i use pads or whatever the case may be just making it available and putting the onus on them to tell you what they do or do not want or if they want it at all we've had encounters where we've asked women of a certain age and they've been offended and we've asked people women of a certain age and or, or not asked women of a certain age and they've been like well why didn't you ask you know so just ask just ask say this is what we have may we offer it to you let them tell you what they do or do not need um, but that also goes back to the gender equity issue and the menstrual equity issue. Um, trans men bleed, and if you are trans and you, if you are trans, you're already disenfranchised in most communities, and you're more likely to be on the streets if you are trans, especially in most metropolitan areas. So when approaching somebody that might appear as one gender and maybe the other it's the same thing just offer it trans men bleed if you are on the streets and you are transitioning from female to male you may not have access to hormones on a regular basis if at all so you're probably still bleeding even though you are passing as a man so we simply ask and let people raise their hands or say you know, no, or whatever the case may be. The same thing with trans women. Now, a trans woman obviously is not biologically going to have uh, a need for pads or tampons, but we do not discriminate. We simply ask anybody, whether they're male passing or female passing, hey, may we offer you? And where a trans man biologically might need the literal use of a pad or a tampon a trans woman may not necessarily biologically need those items but psychologically spiritually and as far as their ability to identify and feel confident in doing so maybe just to hold that item or to wear that item uh, could make all of the difference so just to keep those things in mind and not make assumptions um, yeah, I mean, there's, there's so much to unpack here. This is just like an introduction. So again, there will be links to the other videos that are in, on the channel and as, uh, excuse me, as well as other organizations, um, that are providing similar work. So you can please feel free to reach out to those organizations, reach out to us. We're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, just even you know in the comments ask your questions there's no taboo questions like it's important to have this dialogue there's nothing you you obviously can af ask questions that are going to offend somebody but like let's ask them here like like let's ask them here and educate each other and be respectful and give each other the opportunity to like F up and ask the wrong questions or maybe misgender somebody or whatever like this is a like it's a process I'm still learning uh, everybody in my in the community is learning like we're learning how to better be of service but at the end of the day if you want to figure out how to provide menstrual hygiene products menstrual hygiene equity menstrual hygiene um, equity and education to the folks in your community, please DM me, please comment below. And um, the last thing I want to just touch on is like reusables. You know, obviously cups are a blessing, um, flex products are a blessing, reusables are a blessing. But you must keep in mind that if you are on the street and you don't have access to a restroom on a regular basis, Reusables, unfortunately, are still a necessity and a necessary evil. So um, if we can provide folks with organic options, like Cora is a great brand, fantastic, but 
it's really, um, it's ideal that, you know, every homeless person would have, you know, a couple of cups or maybe some washable pads or whatever, but realistically, if you're homeless, how are you going to keep those things clean and hygienic if every bathroom you walk into is, um, going to be a risk of arrest? So, uh, yeah, disposable items are still a necessary evil, so just keep that in mind if you are interested. Um, I encourage you to check out hashtag happypurity.org, um, watch the other videos, comment below, ask questions, DM me, whatever the case may be. I guarantee you, wherever you live, there is a need and nobody's going to solve the problem unless you do. So every little bit helps and I uh, thank you for watching and I hope to uh, keep this dialogue going. Maybe I'll do a, a live next week where people can ask questions, but um, if that's something that you think you would dig, then yeah, like let me know in the comments if you think a live would be appropriate for this topic, but I just wanted to give you kind of a high level overview of hashtag happy period, hashtag happy period Bay Area. Um, and give you an opportunity to um, ask these questions and see how you might be of service in your community. But yeah, you can find us on Facebook, you can find us on Instagram, and um, yeah, I'll link everything that I can think of down below. And yeah, just thank you for watching and thank you for giving a shit. And there's, you don't need anybody's permission. Go out there and create your own nonprofit. Go out there and just take care of some folks. Anyways, peace.